Hey guys, and welcome to another Laura and Nicholas video. So we made it to Marrakesh, and today we will show you a property that's a little bit different than what we usually show you. We found this hidden gem, this hidden Riyadh in the center of the Medina, and you can already book this place as low as 50 euros a night. So we just had to show you this incredible gem. Let's show you around. So here in the center, you have the courtyard where you have a little pool um, that you can swim in in summer. Now it's a little bit chilly, and then there's tables here as well, so you can grab tea, you can have lunch here or dinner, and even breakfast you can actually have that on the rooftop as well which we'll show you later or now in winter we actually sit inside so there's a little restaurant indoors which we'll show you later as well so there's 10 rooms separated over three floors so here on the ground floor there's a few rooms and on the first floor and the second floor where you have the rooftop where we're at and where we'll show you our room later as well now let's show you the restaurant so in here you have the restaurant so you have a heater in here amazing now during the winter um, also so we will actually leave a booking link below in the description. You can check out the property and book it for yourself. Now let's go upstairs. So on the first floor there is more rooms obviously and there's tons of seating areas super cozy there's some books everywhere as well that you can grab to read um, but now we're gonna check out the rooftop. So we made it to the rooftop now. We are showing this to you a little bit later in the evening. It's already getting dark, but there were people reading here upstairs and we didn't want to disturb them. But basically this is the rooftop. So there's like tons of places where you can just sit and relax, have a tea. And then in the corner, there's actually a hammam as well and some treatment rooms. So you can have a massage here if you want to. But yeah, it's just like a nice place to relax and read a book. And in summer, you can actually have breakfast over here as well. So now they're not serving breakfast here because it's a little bit too cold it's getting chilly now as well i need to change but yeah this is like super cozy area too now let's show you a room which is just right there on the rooftop so it is quite small but it's super cozy beautifully decorated we feel that for this price this is probably the best that you can find in marrakesh so it's like a combination of traditional with a little bit bohemian so this is the bedroom and then you have a little bit of closet space in here it's not much but it's a little and then here you have like little amenities there's a bottle of water that we got on arrival some cookies and then now let's show you the bathroom this is a very small room tour <laughs> So in here you have the ballroom. So as you can see as well, it's quite small. Some lamps are not working, so it's not super bright, but it's typical for Ria as well. So you have just one sink and then a little bit of space underneath it. And then in here is the restroom. Someone commented that we don't show the restrooms enough, so now we're always showing them. And then in here is the shower. I think it's really cool how they did the design of the shower. It's like really traditional, really cool. And then over here, there's a little space to get ready, to do your makeup, there's a mirror over here, which I think is really nice as well. And this is, I think, the smallest room to we've ever done. What's cool in Ariad is that every room is designed a little bit differently so no room will look the same okay this was probably the smallest room tour we've ever done but i hope it was interesting so just like to give you a little bit more information so what we really love about Ariad is you really get into that oasis of like calm uh, because the medina can be super busy and hectic so it's really cool to like get into that vibe but still we would recommend if you're staying longer than three nights let's say if you're staying for a full week to divide your time between staying in a riyadh in the center of the medina and then stay outside of the city let's say in the palmaray which is an area that we love as well because then it's like really really quiet and good to spend some time by the pool especially if you're here in summer so we will just leave a few recommendations below obviously we will link this place and then a list of some other recommendations and places we really love in marrakesh but yeah, we hope it was interesting and we will be going to the Oberoi tomorrow, which is one of our favorite places in Marrakesh. So make sure to subscribe because we will have a full tour of that place as well. So we will see you in the next one. This was Laura and Nicholas behind the camera. Bye.